So uh, my name is Mohini. I'm a product engineer on the ArcGIS Pro framework team, and I work on the SDK as well. Uh, today, in this demo, I'll be talking about uh, the DAML configurations. I won't, I'll not be going much into the details of coding on this one, but we'll mostly be focusing just on DAML and how using only the DAML, you can change the UI and add new um, buttons, tools, and other components uh, in, your work, in your workspace. I'll be going over the structure of DAML first um, for those who are new to it. And after that, I'll be working on uh, showing different elements on DAML. And I'll have a short demo on it. So what is DAML? DAML is SD's language for um, maintaining um, the states and conditions and different organization of controls in uh, ArcGIS Pro. ArcGIS Pro add-ins and configurations have declarative as well as active aspects. Uh, the declarative aspect of um, add-ins and configurations is all handled through DAML. Uh, this is a structure of a typical DAML file which has, um, I'm gonna sit down. Uh, this is the structure of a typical DAML file that has a insert module and an update module. So how does this translate to Pro? Like, what does it mean by declarative structure? So here we are. This is how Pro looks like. Uh, the ribbon on Pro is controlled through this file. So uh, these are the controls cut, copy, paste, um, bookmarks, explore, all of these are controls. These are defined by a unique ID. So each control, e either it's a custom control that you have built or any of the controls that are coming from um, our core uh, source have a unique ID associated with it. And uh, this is an example of a file from the add-in so this has my custom control and uh, the button has this id called custom daml underscore zoning through this file i can also set the caption uh, the icon size um, the images um, the tool tips for a button next we move on to controls uh, here these controls are placed on a group. The groups uh, here are clipboard navigate layer. So they, we can define the uh, order in which different controls are placed on it. And uh, that is handled through DAML. These groups are then placed on different types of tabs. Uh, the tabs uh, can host various different groups and uh, like example, map, insert, analysis, these are tabs. You can either define your own tabs or uh, through add-ins, it creates a default add-in tab, which is a host for all the customization. So you can either choose to have an add-in tab or de declare your own tab and have um, either predefined groups or custom groups on the tabs. Next is the insert module. So with, uh, sorry, next is the update module. So with insert module, we saw that uh, any of the custom UI that you create goes through, you're inserting that into the current DAML. So using the insert module. But what if you wanna update the mod, update pro and update the controls that are already on there and you, maybe you just wanna strip off all the tabs and just keep the tabs that you want. Um, or delete some controls specifically and place your own. So for all of those purposes, um, insert module is the way to go. And I have some examples here uh, coming up on how you could use the insert module. The IDs that I talked about uh, some time ago that every control in Pro has a unique ID. So it, it's in the source code, but how do you obtain it? So we have two ways of um, identifying the IDs of the current controls. You could go to the options dialog on backstage and there's a small checkbox for show command IDs on screen tips. Uh, as you check this box and 
you hover over any of the tools in Pro, uh, it shows the ID associated with that command particularly. And then you can use this ID in your um, DAML and you could maybe uh, remove or delete, uh, sorry, remove or edit any of the controls that are placed here. Another way to get uh, the DAML IDs is through our GitHub documentation. Um, on the GitHub wiki page, we have, um, if you scroll down to the very end, there's a section called ArcGIS Pro DAML Reference. Um, with that, you can go through the DAML IDs of every class that we have, like mapping, geoprocessing, geocoding, and go to the IDs specifically to the command that you're looking for. Once you have these, it's easy to just reference the ID of the command that you want and then you could remove it. These are all the different types of DAML elements that uh, are supported in Pro. Uh, so with, just with DAML, you are able to create or edit any of these controls like galleries, menus, the context menus on different layers and um, catalog pane on edit a context menu. So all of those can be controlled just through DAML. You can have your own buttons and tools um, on different context menus and split buttons, combo boxes, check boxes, um, doc panes, property sheets, all of those are, you have full control on what goes where. Switching on to Visual Studio. Sorry. Uh, DAML, the custom DAML. So here I have a basic solution where I'm adding a menu and a button just as it loads. All right, so here I have created a new tab, which is uh, gonna host my group. In the group, I have referenced Esri's predefined tools like the explore tool, I have a business analyst tool, I have a locate uh, tool, and these two are my custom ones. So all of these can be used in the in a combination, you don't have to just stick to just your controls or just Esri's controls. You can mix and match uh, as per your requirements. And uh, so I have a button and a menu. And all of these are uh, defined through as you create add-ins, add a um, new item, and you can define all the in these are the item templates that are available so you can define the things that you are looking for to do from here so once that is done these controls get added onto uh, your daml and then you can um, reference it either in your custom groups or um, any of the esri's predefined groups Uh, so this is how my custom uh, tab, uh, which is planning, and uh, my custom group called calculate, and all of the other tools that I have added on looks like. Now I'm going to make some modifications uh, to the existing behavior of um, the existing controls on the map ribbon. So let's play mostly with this area for now, which is the inquiry tab. So on the inquiry tab right now, there's an infographics tool, a measure tool, and a locate tool. So I'm gonna edit that for now. So in this uh, particular group, I am okay. So, 
there you go so in this particular group i am updating the esri mapping module which corresponds to the map tab on the ribbon and i'm looking at the esri mapping inquiry group which is the inquiry group that we just looked and i'm going to delete the locate doc pane button from there I can also do another, um, I'm just going to combine two of these uh, so the debugging is faster. Okay. So and I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to delete the locate doc pane button and then I'm going to add my own uh, button that I have created for custom, uh, for zoning. So let's see how that works. Can you still hear me properly? Okay. All right, so here on the inquiry group, we see that uh, we no more have the, the locate tool, but now we have replaced it with the zoning tool. And that was just through, uh, and so far we haven't done any of the C-sharp coding. It is all just Tamil. Next, I'm gonna, uh, next I'm gonna work on the context menu options. Um, so here's another um, control so even for context menus they have IDs so you can look up the ID for a, for a particular context menu and here you go all right so we're looking at modifying the layer properties um, the layer context menu on the table of contents so that falls under the mapping category so we are again editing the mapping module and we are updating a menu instead of a group here and the menu is called esri mapping layer context menu you can find this through the github page that has all the different um, reference uh, ids okay and here i'm gonna uh, there's also another uh, option called place with here you can select what um, the uh, control is being placed with so it doesn't have to be the first or the last control on the menu you can decide where it needs to go you can decide if it needs a separator uh, and set separator to true or false so right now i'm placing my zoning button with um, the symbology button and i'm also at the same time gonna uh, add a menu on the context menu for a catalog pane. So on um, on the catalog pane, I um, the menu is called as remapping map container context menu, and I'm gonna place uh, here. I'm placing the zoning button, and here here I'm placing the zoning menu, uh, and this is being placed with the paste button. So let's see how that works.
So on my layer and right now I have specified it to all types of layer but you can also make it possible only for 2D layers or 3D layers or group layers so you can define that as well depending on the uh, layer type. So here I see uh, the zoning button is placed in the same uh, along with symbology. If I had placed a separator it would be above the button. And on the second one I see the map container that is um, the maps element and I have placed the zoning menu along with the place button. So for I think it's the only important thing here is knowing the DAML IDs as long as you know that it's pretty easy to just reference that ID and place the tools and play around with it. Um, even with the selection uh, context menu I haven't done it here but it's possible to even add your own tools on um, this menu here. Um, there's also another way of uh, adding tools to the gallery items. I'm gonna stop here and undo. Sorry about that. So here I'm updating galleries and again on the update module for mapping, I'm going through the galleries and I'm doing an update gallery. Uh, I'm right now in this example, I'm doing an update on the add data gallery and I'm inserting my custom button on here. Another thing that I can show here is uh, with the Backstage. Backstage has new open uh, save, save as tabs. So through this code, I'm inserting, uh, through this part, I will be um, playing around with the Backstage a bit. So I'm planning to delete entirely the new and open uh, project backstage tabs and I'm, I'll be inserting a new backstage item so how did that happen as I uh, there's an item template for creating a new backstage tab so within uh, the pro item templates can go and create a new backstage tab this is uh, controlled through the XAML so uh, you can define your uh, own uh, design and options that you need there. It is a view model so it has uh, you can play around with the title and uh, the functionality that goes along with it. So uh, right now in my DAML I have uh, configured it to remove uh, there are three things that we have done here. First is adding a zoning button to add data gallery, deleted uh, new and open uh, backstage options and inserted a custom zoning tab. These are the ones that just got added so we do not need them for now. So, all right. While this is starting up, um, I can show you the documentation for all of these things. So uh, as you go to the wiki homepage for Pro SDK under framework, uh, there's a page for DAML snippets. And this has most of the examples that I showed you today and uh, there are many more specific examples with different context menus and different options.
think bro must have started okay here it is so looking at the add data button here we have our zoning button and going to backstage um, I see that my new and open are gone and instead I have the zoning tab I could also place this button um, in a different position or uh, group it with different kind of uh, tabs or I have separators in there Uh, this is not a SDK thing, but this is a new thing that uh, we framework team have added recently. Uh, if you're working on certain um, on different panes and different data sets, you're you might end and you're working on Pro for a while. You might end up with a lot of different panes for say uh, geo processing and symbology, editing, create features. Uh, so this is a new uh, feature called Reset Panes. Uh, what that does is um, there are different sets of panes uh, that we have defined and um, you could reset it to default panes for mapping. So right now I have geoprocessing but I could have like 15 more and I'm sure most of you have those scenarios day to day. So the easiest way to reset it is through resetting your panes for mapping or resetting it for editing where uh, these are the ones that we have defined but if you have more uh, more workflows and more designs that you would like to maintain for your own uh, workflows there's a way to define that through daml as well so on the same page uh, for uh, pro snippets daml at the very top, uh, there's a section for doc pane sets and you can define your own sets and have uh, your own doc panes, which is just an easy shortcut for going there. So just to summarize, uh, we looked at uh, the DAML portion of add-ins and configurations, which is the declarative part. It contains the framework elements uh, that are and the placement. DAML also described the static, static aspects of uh, different components like tool tips and caption images and positions and placements. By separating DAML and the programmatic aspect um, in Pro, we increase the flexibility and the deployment and distribution of these customizations is easier. The amount of code that's written is way less than it would be otherwise. And uh, these most of the controls in this way are loaded just in time, so it's lower on the memory usage. And that was it for my part of the presentation today. Um, we have many more sessions today. Uh, today there's a 5.30 uh, technical workshop, but there are many more tomorrow and on Friday. Uh, I have another uh, demo theater right now in five minutes for working with UI controls. And uh, we have tomorrow evening, we have the road ahead for it. Um, if you already have the app, uh, please take the survey and give your feedback on this presentation and there's always scope to improvement and I'd like to know more about how I can improve and present more material to you guys. And uh, these are the links that I just mentioned um, and there are two samples specifically for working with DAML. These are under the framework um, the folder for community samples. One is called working with DAML and the other one is DAML. And um, I'm ready for any questions that you guys have. All right. Okay, thank you. And we are here um, till Thursday evening. So even if you have any questions later on, we'll be at the Pro SDK Island. Thank you.